Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. So I'm always on the hunt for the perfect camera bag. So today I wanted to chat with you about what is the best camera bag for you, taking you through shoulder bags versus backpacks and what I have found has been the perfect bag for me. So let's get into it. So I own and pretty regularly use three camera bags. The first one is the BagSmart camera backpack. I bought this guy off of Amazon for about a hundred Canadian, like three summers ago. The second bag I own is the Ona Bowery bag. This is my shoulder bag. Out of all three of my bags, this is the most expensive bag that I own. I bought it a couple summers ago while we were in Vancouver for about, I think it was like 300 Canadian. And then the last bag that I own is the six liter Peak Design Sling. This guy is like a shoulder bag, like backpack hybrid. And I bought this guy last summer for about 150 Canadian. So I want to discuss with you some of the pros and cons of using a camera backpack, a shoulder bag, and a hybrid for carrying your camera gear, starting with the backpack. So with camera backpacks, I have found some of the biggest pros is one, the weight is more evenly distributed. So with backpacks, you have the two shoulder straps. So the weight is distributed between your two shoulders and a lot of them will have even like a waist belt. So you can even um, distribute the weight with your hips. And that way, if you're going for like long durations or you're carrying a lot of gear, you're not ruining like a specific part of your upper body. Two, you can also carry a lot of stuff. And I'm not just talking about camera gear. In the spring and summertime, my husband and I love going for hikes and camera backpacks are perfect because you can carry carry like the two water bottles, we can carry my camera gear, we can carry like towels, snacks, food, anything that we also will need while we're out on a hike. Three, you can also go hands free, which I love. So two options here is you can use a camera strap just like this and have your camera hang off your neck. I don't love this for long durations because I find it just makes my neck sore. So what I like to do is use the Peak Design Capture Clip. You basically just attach it to the backpack strap like this and if you want to use your camera, you just unhook it from the Peak Design clip, take your photos or whatever it is that you want to do, and then you can put it back and be hands-free again. So I find backpacks are perfect for if you want to carry a lot of gear or all of your gear or for like outdoor excursions. Some cons with using backpacks is one, because you have all of this room, you do tend to overpack, at least I do. I always get in the thought process of, oh, I've got extra room, I can pack this extra lens or I can pack this as well. And I don't even end up using half the equipment that I bring. The second con is that I don't find them very versatile. So I hate, hate, hate bringing camera backpacks into restaurants or nice places and um, it's happened a couple times before where we're gonna go out for a hike but before we do that we're gonna go grab a bite to eat at a restaurant and I don't like leaving my camera gear in my car or in a car at all and so I have to bring the backpack in with me and I hate doing that because it's big it's bulky and oftentimes it's dirty like I'm taking this into the forest I'm putting it on the ground it's going in like the sand and so I just don't like bringing camera camera backpacks into like restaurants or nice places. So I just find that they're not oftentimes very versatile. And three, because they're big and bulky, at least in my case, um, if the camera backpack is the only thing that I have to carry my camera equipment in, I am just, I'm more likely to leave my camera behind. Moving on to the pros and cons of using a shoulder bag. So I have found that one of the biggest pros with using a shoulder bag is that you tend to pack less because you have to. So you can get a variety of different sizes shoulder bags. This is the Ona Bowery bag and I can fit a maximum of one body and two lenses in this guy which is great because it forces me to reduce my kit and it forces me to kind of go more minimal with my camera gear. Two, it's also more discreet. So with shoulder bags you can leave it on your lap and it won't be in the way. You can tuck it underneath the table. You can hang it off your chair. Um, they just tend to like not scream as loudly. So when we were in a Soyuz last year for some wine tastings having a shoulder bag like this was great because it a, forced me to reduce my kit, and B, it was just a lot more discreet and versatile when we were going into some very nice wineries. And three, they tend to be allowed more. And what I mean by that is that depending on the activity that you're doing, if you're doing landscape photography or you're heading outdoors and this doesn't really matter, but I find that if you're traveling, a lot of places uh, like shops, restaurants, arenas, they'll oftentimes say no backpacks. And so having a shoulder bag like this is perfect. So I find shoulder bags like this are perfect for day trips, shorter excursions into the city or nice places. Some cons with shoulder bags is one, it can be a lot of weight on one shoulder, no matter how you wear it. 
too. It can also be very difficult to bring extra accessories like a water bottle or a tripod because you don't really have a lot of places that you can put those things. And three, I find shoulder bags do tend to get in the way more and I get more frustrated wearing a shoulder bag just because of how they hang off your body and I feel like I'm constantly trying to like sling it onto my back and get it out of the way. And lastly, we have the hybrid. So like I said earlier, this is a six liter peak design sling. And this is kind of like a hybrid between a backpack and a shoulder bag. So one of the reasons I really like the hybrid and why I went with the peak design is because you actually can wear it multiple different ways. So because of the strap, you can wear it like a sling backpack and it's actually quite comfortable. You can also wear it as a shoulder bag and just sling it over your shoulder like that. And because of, again, the strap, you can even wear it like a waist bag. You can also fit a decent amount of stuff in this guy. So like I said, this is a six liter and I have a whole other video that uh, is dedicated towards this bag and why I went with the six liter and what I can fit inside this bag. So I'll just leave a link to it down in the description, but you can fit a decent amount of stuff in this guy. And it's also pretty versatile. Um, I would feel way more comfortable going into like a restaurant or a nice place with a bag like this versus like a camera backpack and because of its multi wearability if you run into a place like a restaurant or a shop or whatever where they don't allow backpacks you can just sling it over your shoulder like that and no one would even know Lastly, some cons when it comes to using a hybrid like this is you are still limited on what you can carry. So this is not the size of a full on camera backpack. So it's not like you can carry everything under the sun. So you still have to be selective on what you were bringing with you. It's also still like difficult to bring extra accessories like a water bottle or a tripod or a jacket. Now, depending on the camera brand, of course, that you go with, um, the Peak Design has this feature at the bottom where you've got these straps. And this is really nice because you can actually put your water bottle your jacket or a tripod underneath here I don't actually like using putting my water bottle underneath here just because you're constantly using it um, constantly drinking out of it so you're also constantly pull, trying to pull it in and out of this thing here and so I don't love using it for like water bottles but it's actually perfect for carrying like a jacket or a tripod where you're not going to be pulling it out as often and lastly you're still putting weight on one shoulder um, if you're using it like a sling backpack or a shoulder bag unless you use it as a hip bag in which case um, you're just putting the weight on your hips instead so out of all of the camera bags that i own the hybrid is probably the closest to the perfect camera bag that I have. So I can take it out on like outdoor excursions. Just last week, we went on our first hike of the season. And so I brought this bag with me. I was able to fit, you know, my body, my one lens, like a mini tripod and some snacks. And it was absolutely perfect. I can bring it into like nice restaurants or places and not feel awkward about its size or its look. Last year, we went to Vancouver Island for our honeymoon and we were doing everything. Like we went on hikes we were in restaurants we were in museums we were on a boat like we did everything on Vancouver Island and so this was really great because it was so versatile and that I was able to fit everything that I needed and it worked for everything that we were doing on that trip so on one day we might just be going for like a simple hike and it was perfect because I can um, just fit whatever camera gear that I wanted for that day oftentimes on hikes I just like using the EM1 Mark II with the 12 to 40 millimeter and then on the next day we were going on a whale watching tour where I required a lot more of my gear but I was still able to fit like my EM1 Mark II, the 12 to 40, the 40 to 150, and the MC20 converter. And so I was able to fit a lot of stuff in here. So really this is just the peak design. Six liter sling has just been the closest I have found to the perfect camera bag. So if you're looking for a new camera bag, some things to consider. And I think the first most important is one budget. What is your budget for this camera bag? Because camera bags can be very expensive. I have camera bags that range from $100 from the backpack to $300 for the shoulder bag. And the budget really like determines it too because some camera bags are really expensive. Like they go for $300 plus. And I have a hard time justifying that much money on something. It really has to be something special because I always have this thing where I'm nervous about buying a piece of equipment that I can't return and I don't get the proper use out of it because I feel like I wasted my money then. So really like what is your budget? And two, ask yourself, what are you gonna be doing? 
how do you see yourself using this bag? What are you going to be photographing? Because I find asking myself things like that will inform my decision on like what gear I'm going to be bringing and then hence what the bag needs to be able to fit. So let me know down in the comments if you found your perfect camera bag. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then hit that like button below and subscribe. Maybe buy me a cup of coffee and Pepsi and I will see you in the next video.